bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time Guys, welcome to round three on your char griller gravity fed 980 guys my name is tommy and this is the gallery backyard barbecue if this is your first time here please consider hitting that subscribe button ringing that bell so you get notified every time the channel does a future upload it is greatly appreciated so look i say round three because you've gotten your new char gorilla gravity fed 980 you've unboxed it you've assembled it that is round one and then you did the proper burn in and pre-season that is round two and i'll put both of those videos up there in a card for you to check out and now we're off to round three which is basically you got to find the hot spots in the pit you got to know the hot spots in the pit look basically what we're going to do is we got ourselves some uh some biscuits we are going to line the uh, pit top and bottom with biscuits because we want to know where the hot spots are and we are going to bring them up 350 fahrenheit in the pit exactly what the directions are on the uh, biscuits because, hey, man, in a way, we're looking to burn the biscuits, right? If some of them burn and some of them don't on the bottom, then we know that is a, uh, a hot spot. We know that in, in the uh, testing when I did the uh, burn-in, we know the hot spot was on the right. The cool spot was on the left. And dead center was perfect. So we want to see if that's going to hold true on this, uh, on this biscuit test. But that is only part one. because we are gonna throw some bread after the uh, biscuit test. Maybe we're gonna bump it up a little bit and let's see if that also gives us a, uh, a hot spot. These hot spots on these gravity feds or really any pit are very important. You gotta know your hot spot. So you definitely wanna spend the four, five, six bucks, whatever, and learn them. So look, man, that is enough talking on this one. Let's load the uh, pit up with biscuits and go to town. Guys, real quick before we get going, no Pitmaster Molly is not in timeout, but she knows exactly where her treats are and she wants one. Yeah, she does. We will see you guys tonight, 718 at 6 p.m. Eastern for our little weekend wine down chat giveaway. I thought last week's show when we did a little music discussion was one of the top shows we've done. So hey man, check that out. Also hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you get notified every time the channel does a future upload. It is greatly appreciated. Oh yeah, it is. So look, right off the bat, what you want to do, say you have two, three cans of these biscuits, you wanna get the biscuits out and get them ready so they all go on the pit about the same time. Oh yeah. Oh, you take a gosh. step back to see the truth oh, man. around you. And look, you don't have to spend the big bucks on the big biscuits. You can get the store brand bought. I'd probably stay away from any frosting or honey baked. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. So we do have the uh, pit up to temp. And basically what we'll do here is we'll get the biscuits in as quick as possible. All right, guys, look, we have our biscuits in. We got the timer set for 15 minutes as per the biscuit manufacturer. And the pit is up at 350 Fahrenheit. Now I'm thinking on the, uh, like I said before, from other tests, the left side is probably dipping low. I'm thinking the uh, middle is right about that 350 and the uh, end is a hot spot, maybe 360, 370, we'll see. 
I'll open them up in 15 minutes and take a look. If I'm not happy that they're uh, done enough or nothing's burning inside, I'll bump the uh, pit up higher because again, I'm looking to burn something. I wanna know what's gonna burn at a high temp where the hot spots is. And that is the uh, best way that I think to tell. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, that is it. 3.50 on the pit, 15 minutes. You can hear the uh, timer beeping. Let's turn that off. Let's open up and take a look. So look, early indications look like this pit is holding uh, even temp across the board, but we'll dive in a little deeper. I got to tell you, man, I am pretty impressed with these, uh, the results here, that heat assembly on the, uh, on the bottom of the char griller, man, with that manifold on top of it, definitely distributes the heat evenly on the master builds that doesn't happen the heat there's 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 definite high spots i'll leave uh links to those videos up top if you want to check them out there are definitely high spots in the pit not so with this uh, char griller so i'm definitely pretty impressed but look what i'm going to do is i'm going to close the hood turn the pit up maybe 400 or so and let's see what we see from there Okay, we are 400 on the pit. We'll let this go for maybe four or five minutes or so. Then we'll open it up and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll check out where we are. If the biscuits look like they're cooked and ready to be eaten for say, we'll flip them over and see where we, uh, see if we picked up any hot spots. But again, man, I am pretty impressed and I'm not even sure I need to take this step with this, uh, the uh, second step with the uh, bread because this thing is uh, doing a good job. Looks like the left side is a little hot, which is a little surprising considering my uh, temp gauges that I had in the pit on the uh, last show showed the uh, right side a little hot, but man, look at that across the board. Oh. I mean, these first six flipped over are spot on cooked, man. That is, uh, wow, that's pretty impressive. Guys, so look, as I blasted it up, the uh, clear hot spot was in this one corner on the uh, left side. Everything else, man, is just about spot on. Look, there is no reason for me to do step two of this, which was the uh, bread test. I mean, the char griller has definitely improved on the technology for the heat distribution that the master build started, man. There is no doubt about it. Look, basically just like a pellet grill, you got that center pot. And basically what a pellet grill wants to do is distribute the heat evenly around the pit. So what they did is they put a plate over that center pot. So it kind of disperses the heat and pushes the heat out. Master built just has that heat where the heat travels through and it basically just comes up, right? So you got clear hot spots. What uh, Char Griller has done is they've taken that same technology and the uh, heat comes up, but they've put a plate over it with, uh, with more or less little cutouts on the uh, plate that allows the heat to come up, okay? See, that was, uh, that was pretty good thinking by Char Griller, man, and that is why you've got these results right here. Oh, yeah. So look, man, I am just gonna conclude this whole thing. Like I said, man, no reason to do part two. This thing is pretty spot on. I am gonna roll my Patreons and YouTube join members. I got information on that down below. 
I got my first cook coming up and so far I am leaning the five hours no wrap baby back ribs. If you have any suggestions, please leave them down below in the description. It is greatly appreciated. So look, man, that is it. Until next time, we will see you soon.